Christopher Bullock once penned that, "'Tis impossible to be sure of anything but death and taxes, and indeed this deck provides both. Should the opponent attack, they will pay the tax. Swap, pay the tax. Summon, pay the tax. Play a card, pay the tax. They shall be taxed to death. Before discussing the finer details of the deck, it is important to know that this deck requires a lot of patience, planning, and practice. It is not an easy deck to use, as it requires considerable understanding on how to play both control decks and stall decks. Virtually every element of this deck offers some way to either stall the match or control and tax the opponent. The Mirror Maiden's Mirror Cage card is the first layer of control and tax, as it forces the opponent to spend an additional die to swap off of the affected character. Senora can combo with Mirror Maiden to freeze the opponent and force them to spend the dice swapping. With her Pain for Pain card, she can mitigate a point of damage from 3 damage or higher attacks while applying an end phase tick of whichever element she is currently on to the attacking opponent. This is both a tax punishing the opponent for attacking, and a stall strategy. The Electro Hypostasis, or Cube, is the trickiest character card to utilize in the deck. While its burst provides a similar control tax to the Mirror Maiden, it isn't the cube's primary purpose. Its main purpose is to stall and mitigate damage. With its ability to resurrect itself once per match, it can absorb massive damage for the team and thwart one-turn kill assaults. Because of this, the deck often opens with the cube, especially if going second, or if Mirror Cage isn't in the starting hand. Ideally, the starting hand will contain Mirror Cage, Tenacity of the Millith, and various ramping and card drawing engines, like Treasure Seeking Seely, Storm Terror's Lair, Weeping Willow of the Lake, or Von Arana. The new Arcane card passing of judgment, while a powerful taxing mechanic, disabling the opponent's use of three event cards for the round, is best left swapped out of the starting hand and saved for the late game to counter critical cards like healing food or I haven't lost yet. Additionally, situational cards like Falls in Fortune and Send Off should only be kept in the starting hand if they are important for countering the opponent's opening. Fatui Conspiracy, the deck's primary tax on aggressive decks, should be used strategically due to its random element application that can disrupt the deck's ability to freeze the opponent and force swaps. Because Tenacity of the Millilith is critical to the deck's stalling potential, a copy of Yayoi Nanatsuki is in the deck. However, it is best to play Tenacity as early as possible, even if Nanatsuki is not in play. If Nanatsuki is in play though, the one copy of Verukasha's Glow can help quickly reduce the cost of Tenacity while providing both card draw and consistent end phase healing. Other than this end phase healing, the deck has two copies of Lotus Crisps, Mondstadt Hash Browns, and Favonius Cathedral. However, with Mimir in play, the potential for more healing, along with anything else, is possible. Because this deck has a lot of moving parts and focuses on counterplay, it is quite complex and difficult to learn. But with that being said, the best way to learn the deck is to see it in action. So let's see how it does in some matches. Okay, we've got ourselves classic here. Pyro, this is going to be the big issue is the Bennett, because if they're inevitably running Aquila and also Tenacity, so we are going to have to deal with that, and that's going to be rough. Um, tenacity of our own is good, the tax won't really be useful yet, that's not bad. Let's roll with these for now. That's good, we might even just draw it back at this point. Oh, I hate the idea, and I go first, of course, so I really just 
buys the item. Let's... Okay. They're gonna go for Siang Ling first. Interesting. I don't like the idea of going first into this. Um, hmm. We've got... We can get... Ooh, may, maybe Millilith? Wait, we gotta think here. It looks like it's gonna be Millilith swapping. Could always Millilith on cube. Well, we did draw it too, just not the right. Mm, and that could be very useful. Uh, her burst with that can be very good, else we hit them with that. I mean, they can still technically do things, so. I think we just do this and wait. Let them do whatever to set up. Let the, let the cube take the damage. Parametric. Yeah, they're going to get a lot off of that, aren't they? Nice so that's going to be a thing. Whoever they swap to. Probably Bennett. No, it's normal tacking it here. And that's fine. Again, cube's job is to take damage for us. But they do have burst, so... No quick swap for us, but we do have some stuff to work with here. We could just go full cube. Just to try to give some damage out. I don't know if I want to do that, though. We don't have the dice for it, even if I did. Well, I mean, technically we do have the dice for it. We could just full cube this right now. Fire side uses a skill. Well, is that going to count for each one? Maybe. Time to cube. Okay, that's actually nice. Our meme Melusine is coming in handy here. That's going to give one. They could just swap to overload, honestly, and push us off. If they're really so inclined, but something tells me they won't. Or if they do, they need to quick swap. In which case, yes, I lost a lot of dice. Nope, they're converting for it. Here comes Pyro. Ouch. Okay. Ain't counting. Swapping to him? Sure. Swapping back to her. Sure. You're trembling. Okay. And now we sit there and make them waste the this. Smolders. They get cryo on themselves. And now we think about what we want to do with our lives here. Do we want to go back to cube? Do we want to hold the hydro and take... Technically, we'd take zero, but if they got quick swap, that's going to be some big overload. Um, Actually, you know what? We'll take it. We can heal up, and also, then it gives us an extra die, so we're out ramping them a bit. They could have pyro res, which would be a threat. Really don't need that right now. I guess we can use this for this and potentially get her skill card. Potentially. They are going to swap to her. Oh, we do get her skill card. Ooh. That is very nice. So, how do we want to play this? Put that on him. Use this. And now we're we're doing a lot in the ramp department here, and they should be afraid. The pale flame 
smolders. Pyro res. Okay, we did expect that pyro res would happen. That's five. You're gonna take the brunt of the damage, which is nice. Ouch. Gives us another Mirror Maiden. Interesting. Now they could just attack again and go for the kill here. So how do we want to do this? We could heal here. We could heal there. We could place this. We could just swap. Potentially, that would be good. Burst kill potential. Swapping to Xiong Ling. Do they have I haven't lost yet? Because that would be... That'd be a reason to swap to Xiong Ling. Let her tank the damage. I haven't lost yet. Yep. Gamblers, cool. I'm pretty alright with this for now. If they want to do that, they can overload, we can burst, so... Then that literally just leaves Bennett. She's at 6 right now. That's slowly healing. Fatui, okay. It is going to be a lot of damage. If they have another pyro res, that would be annoying. They do have some heals, which is annoying. But they are using a lot. Ouch. That is, in no way, shape, or form, the end of the world for us. Uh, we can uh, do a lot of things here, really. They could burst, and I think that's what they're going to aim for, is do the burst on there. Uh, again, that would be seven. She'd die. He'd die. Well, he wouldn't really die, would he? Do we care? I mean, maybe. Maybe they have something that lets them do the thing. Well, they'll be able to gamblers and then do it. They just won't attack with it, is the thing. Okay, let's convert something here. Probably you, because you're just not gonna... You're just not gonna happen, are you? The two e res, give me something good. That is indeed good. Witness my suffering! Suffering will indeed be witnessed, and if she attacks into it, we can technically go again. Okay, yep, they're gonna go for it. What procs first, the gamblers or that? Cut to the chase. Ouch. Gives us a die. Technically, gamblers does no. Nope. Right idea from. No, nope, technically gamblers does not. Okay, we don't need a second of you. Do we really care, actually? No, why would we? Why would we care about that? We just don't want him to be able to do any... Well, if he has... They already used I Haven't Lost yet, so we could attack into it and apply Pyro, but then he gets to go first with Pyro, it doesn't matter. Lieben. Sure. Pyro, he has Pyro die. Okay, that was something to consider. It's going towards Lieben, though. He's not attacking. There's one. Heals the two. If we get quick swap, that'd be useful. That's not quick swap. They're probably looking for Pyro res for the kill potential. 
Lots of pyro here. Okay. Yeah, they're going to start trying to aim for burst. Ouch. But that's lethal. Fatui res tax in the attacks. Okay, we've got ourselves quite the interesting setup here. They probably want to get his burst out first so that then they can start doing some hefty damage with him and then reverse sweep with him with uh, Hyper Bloom. So, how are you going to do that? This is actually a pretty fine start here, truth be told. Fatui res potentially useful there. Um, hmm. I guess it really depends on what skill card everything runs on. I'm going to drop this until later. The 2E res is also a potential until later thing, but... We'll see. We'll see what goes down. If anything, we have Senora's skill right there, so... And we can play that. Uh, Hydro. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Your penance is due! Yeah. It gives us a second one of her, so we are definitely going her then. Drop this. Now, we could just Fatui res and just let him tank all of that damage. Ah, eh, screw it. So, yeah. And he has Hydro on him, so that's nice. We'll just wait. They might just be able to go for the Quick Bloom. They might do some ramps. We don't have much for ramp on our own, so we really are going to be depending on that Millilith quite a bit. Especially since we drew both of hers and not one of hers. We needed Mirror Maiden skill card. Normal attack. As I predicted, they are going to go for Quick Burst. Ouch. We'll see what they have for any kind of ramp here. Interesting. So, yeah, they're going to try to burst right in. We could Fatui res again. They really want the bloom for him eventually and just the overall damage. In fact, in this kind of a situation, I'd actually prefer them to go first over me, but it is what it is. And they will be able to just zip zoom on over past this or anything else really that we do. So, and this will probably proc before that. So, you're trembling. At bare minimum, we'll be able to outramp. But here comes the burst. Oh, weapons, Aquila for him, because that's what I'd be most My afraid of. Deluge. Okay, he takes the one. Flies back over. I don't like using these this early all willy-nilly, but... It is pretty useful here. Um, how many dice do we have? I guess... Does it really make a difference? We can swap back, so yeah, I suppose it does. Because now his normal attacks are going to be a thing. The Pale Flame Smolders! Yep, that was indeed Aquila. <laughs> so here comes the Bloom. That certainly is going to be an attack that we have to deal with now. Okay, and then you get the end first. We're popping back over to Cube. Granite Cube will actually just fold die from this, but it's at least holding off a little bit. Because attack into follow-up is going to be a thing. You're going to be useful here for her. In fact, I actually don't mind if Cube fold dies at this point, because then we can just go to Mirror Maiden and slow this assault down. Uh, so Cube dying is honestly... 
more valuable than not. These dice rolls are not more valuable than not, though. But I guess they'll be good for this. Well, no, we aren't going to be able to freeze, right? Because, there you go, this follows through. Dead. But he gets electrocharged. So, how do we want to play that? We could just burst kill. You're trembling. And we're done with that mess. They still have the bloom, but we're at least done with that mess. Play the Melusine meme. Um... I might just convert this and save that. No, 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 no. Yeah. Pale flame, lay waste. Now he's out of the way, and we are done with that Aquila crap. We just have to worry about him now. They might have. I haven't lost yet. They do, so they're gonna attack twice. Great. One of them is going to be for a bit of damage. Okay. This on the Electro comes in. And that means we can play this towards the end here as well. Come, put up a fight. The Mellow Meme will start generating some goodies. Ouch. He does have burst, which is annoying. Let's see what we have here. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what? I'm happy with that, sure. Thanks, Bellu Beam. That's that's awesome, man. Um, do we want them to go first? Do we want us to take a crap ton of damage here? Because that's a four cost burst coming in. I mean, he can't really swap, so you know what? I suppose I'm all right. Well, no, because that's three coming in. Yeah, I'm fine with this, actually. Even if he goes there, let's hope we draw our skill card. God, 20 cards left. He's inevitably going to swap over to there, but... Uh, we have Egg to dodge an attack. Okay. Okay. We heal it up. No more normal attack buff. Beautiful. This can go on either or once we res him. If we decide to res him, we'll wait. We will. We will wait a moment. Um, had we the cards to convert last time, I would have just did it last time. Okay. What you gonna do? Heal. Okay, he's really looking to do that reverse sweep business. But here. again, Egg is really a, a wild choice here. Okay. He's looking to go for electro four cost kill if I try to do this. Um, I'm still going to do this. I should have played this first. I forgot about that. Why do I always do silly things and forget things? Are they going to go for it? I mean, sure. He's no, doing no. something. No mercy. Yeah. We're we're fine with that. Immolation. Egg really is just like the icing on the cake here. <laughs> but we do have to see what they have. They could have another Aquila and be able to pull this back. Like, this is in no way, shape, or form done yet. Especially if the Electro Charge. Once this element's gone, that's one thing. Especially, uh, again, if they have weapons or even artifacts. Okay.
That's four. I mean, are you really gonna be able to do a whole lot here, buddy? Come, put up a fight. Cause that's burst potential here. So unless you can do seven and one, you're just dead. So yeah, the seven and one, I can just convert. And that's precisely what I'm going to do. But before I do that, we have to. Egg. Thanks, Melu Meme. All must burn. Such is life. Okay, a burning deck. I can see where that would be useful with him. So we can expect his skill card is guaranteed to be there. This is interesting. This is probably not going to be needed right now. How about the Fatui Res? Do we need that right now? Maybe not. Whoa. Okay. Double Millilith is a choice. You indeed can double Millilith. This is a thing. We can probably expect them to start with her or him first, so... I unfortunately get to go first, which is... something that I'm loathe to do in this situation. It is Nahida coming out. We'll see if they big he he or not. Um... Dear Lord, yeah, I can actually do the double, uh... The double Millilith, too. Okay. I'm just keeping it. Ain't even. Well, let's see what our Melu meme gives us. <laughs> okay. Yes. Sure. Of course. Naturally. Uh, where do we where do we go with this? Um, hmm. Now, who do we want to get hit with the Dendro, though? That's the question. I feel like the Dendro is less important in terms of uh, damage than the Hydra or the, the Pyro, so... Maybe we play this first. That way we at least get a die. Yeah, we ain't gonna need that anymore. Elemental skill. It's just a little hee hee. It does indeed give us a die, though. Now, we could do that if we really wanted to. Or, again, we could get this down. Um, this on her is actually very strong. So, I am going to go for that. Really wish I had something like uh, Von Arana at this point. They might swap the, yeah, they're going to swap to him and use skill. So just expect that's going to happen. They probably have his skill card in hand. And voila. Nope, this normal one there. Not summoning anything yet. And they switch back to her, sure. They don't have anything for quick swapping yet, so I'm not too bothered. Wow, there's Vonorana. You're conveniently late. If they have quick swap, I guess that's a thing to consider. Um, yeah, we don't really need any of this just yet. Again, a bit of a slow, quiet start here. Not really what we're looking for in terms of the dice. Um, we are probably aiming more for hydro, but... We gotta deal with what we've got. Yeah, at least we're not getting it on everyone. Now, they are going to have their burst here, and that's going to be mighty annoying. Because uh, that's four damage coming in, and I don't know how I feel about that. So, let's just go mitigate that real quick. <sighs> the insolent shall be punished. Yeah, we'll take two instead of four. And they could also have extra dice Dendro Res here. They're going to swap to Linny. Okay... How do we want to play this? I don't really want him to start taking any more damage right now, so... 
convert and go for it. You can't die. They might have Dendro Res. They do, unfortunate. They're converting, so they are going to go for the skill. I mean, it's making them use a lot of cards, though, and so. Voila. Ouch. Yeah, that did quite a bit of damage. We are very much in need of some of our heals at this point. You're trembling. Switches back to her, sure. The pale flame smolders. Now, we have to swap back over here, so we aren't going to get our Vonorana effect going. Well, we can probably play it just to get the meme card, maybe? Um, yeah, sure. Now that at least triggers. That's going to be nice, because we will need healing here. He hasn't even come out yet, so, ouch. We also haven't drawn our skill card, so a lot of our early tax isn't here at the moment. This is going to do damage to them and unfortunately take down... Actually, just straight kill, maybe, the... Well, no, because he doesn't have the thing on him. However, if they do... And that wouldn't kill. Not yet. Um, We are going to get off of Cube, though. We got to try to keep Cube alive here. Okay, yeah, they're going for it. Now, if they do the big one, that would take out Cube completely, but it would also... No, nope, they're going to use Burst, as expected. Ouch. Cube is back. Um, there's a thought about starting with Cube there, but if I did that... And try to heal. It'd be at four. I really wouldn't be able to. Um, at the same time, though, we don't really have the dice for it. We're only two. If we had one more, we could just zoof and cube. But we cannot zoof and cube, so we have to deal with what we have. Which means... Probably back to her. They might just go to him. Or they could have quick swap. They haven't shown Quick Swap yet. Vonorana. So they might just attack with her. Normal attack. Sure, I'll take the the dice. You get energy, I get dice. I'm happy with this. The pale flame smolders. Oh lord, that's that uh, we need to draw a certain other card here. Then that will be useful. Um, how do we want to play this? Um, we could use this and then again, just attack. I mean, she'll die though, right? If we burst, she'll die. But then we go pyro, and I don't know if we want pyro just yet. We could also send off that, but I really want to wait for this thing for send off. So, hmm. Maybe best to just do this instead. It will create quite a bit of damage, though. But we can heal it, so maybe that's the play. Ensure that Your Nahida is gone. <laughs> we still have this, then, that can go down. That's nice. Melu Meme is gone, but has given us a plethora of things to work with. Unfortunately, burning will happen, but she's gone. He comes out. Ouch. We're going to take some piercing. He's not, which is nice. We'll heal it back. So we should be in a decent position. That's going to be nice. It'll be good for also Mirror Maiden, too, if we can get over to her. Healing her is going to be a thing. We don't need this anymore. 
I don't particularly enjoy using Senor's Burst early, but seemed like the necessary thing to wipe out Nahida. Because they're going to be going for some heavy reactions here. And they've got a lot of dice to do it. We'll be able to start matching, but we got to be careful here. We need this thing out of here. Once this thing is gone, we can start doing some funny business. <laughs> Elemental skill. Yep. I do think we want to get over to her to start doing some tax here, so. And getting this down is just going to overall be value. Because we can just start doing a lot of stuff cheaper. So. I probably want to do something to heal on her. Or just prep for it. Because we've got six showing. He can normal attack. Uh, or they can swap into him. I don't know if I see them necessarily doing six damage here without him being involved. They can quick swap. I heard you. But I don't know if I see six. They're converting. Just a normal attack with the Dendro, sure. Ouch. Naturally, we do have to worry about that now. Uh, so, now is certainly the time for this. Into this. No mercy. So now the taxation starts. Okay, but do you have free swap? Else do I care? That's very tempting. A round of applause. Have at it, Chief. That thing's gone. Okay, how do we want to play? Probably not take any damage. <sighs> the insolent shall be punished. Yeah, that is out of here. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Now they could have a spare die for Dendro Res potentially. Nope. So it's just this is going to come back in. It's going to do damage, but we'll heal a bit here. There. Actually, it didn't do damage because of that. Okay. Now let's see what we've got going on. It's going to be a lot harder now for him to do things. We just need to keep applying the pressure. We haven't gotten, of course, our quick swap. Actually, we don't have quick swap. What am I saying? We get to go here. So we could attack for cheaper here, forcing them into a position where they have to take a lot of damage. I should have played this first. No. That was really stupid Mercy. because they can heal out of the kill now. now Elemental skill. Interesting. Oh, well, they can heal out of it anyways with that, so... I guess we don't have much of a reason to be concerned. If we do that, that's six on him. But we probably lose her. He doesn't have skill cards, so he might not be able to actually kill. I think we I think we save this for next round. This is going to be a little more critical then. Millith on him. So they know he's going down. They're probably debating do they want to do they think that they can take on both with him or not. They have a dendro die, so they might be able to just swap over. They are going to swap over. Fascinating. Okay. I too shall swap over. Immolation. They used my Dendro die for that. Or my. Sometimes I swear this game does the dumbest choices when you're not paying attention. 
truly some of the dumbest choices when you're not paying attention. Thankfully, we won't need it right now, but dear lord, was that absolutely idiotic. Quick, drop they might have I haven't goodness. lost yet, but or they're just trying to draw for some sort of heal. Doesn't matter. I haven't lost yet, so it'll just go there, sure. Unless you've got another Dendro die. I didn't think so. Truly, truly just a staggering amount of stupidity coming from that. Like, absolutely mind-numbing stupidity. That's gonna be nice. That also will be nice. Tenacity, tenacity... It's 9 versus 10, but we also have this, which is going to even the odds a bit. They have that. So too do I. Elemental Quick. skill. So they're going to try to get rid of this to use the burst for like a big kill. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. So now we've got tons of dice. And we can use this, and then that, just in case you're just feeling extra spicy. Because right now we're showing lethal. The minute he attacks, that's lethal. And he attacked, so that's lethal. Burst, electro goes off. There we go. Ooh, despite some questionable decisions from things, still managed to come on top. Okay, we're going for vaporize here. Swirl in the vape. So let's see what happens. We go first. Let's see what kind of opening we... Oh my, okay. That is an opening. And then is objectively an opening. Um, wow, do we want that that early? Maybe not. Send this out because I don't know what I'm going to necessarily hit him with. Start maybe with Mirror Maiden. This is ideal on him, technically, but we can we can go Mirror Maiden with it. Why not? Starts getting our card draw going. Shall be punished. We're going to really start the ramp card draw. Naturally, they do start with Mona, and naturally, I roll none of the dice that make the sweetest bit of sense for anything that I need. Lovely. Hmm. Yes. As is per usual, we do not roll dice that make sense here. We have to tune things, because that's what we do here. We just have to tune things. There we go. No mercy. Vonarana, cool. Timmy, cool. Maybe they too have to tune things. Lord knows, we also need dice or uh, cards too now. So I'm happy that they're being Death fast and Death loose with it. Okay. That is a thing. If they are going to swap, they won't be able to do much yet. Um, they can, of course, quick swap and end, but... Man, I don't even care if I get hit with the thing on this. I'm just going to play the ramp game. They are going to swap to him, but it's not like they have spare dice per se, so... They could have theoretically had the free attack food and tried to uh, do some nightmares, but that's going to be nice. That would have been nice a moment ago. I don't know if I want to stay on her. Oh, lovely. Once again, Vonarana saving the day. Um... Give me hers. That's not hers. Okay. 
Um, time to peace out of here. Cryo. Well, great. I mean, do we want to get hit in the face with upwards of the five damage? Just to uh, freeze him and force them off for a whopping total five dice used? I don't think so. But at the same time, like... Because we have to tank damage, and we don't have anything nice here, like Millith. I mean, she is going to heal it, so you know what? Screw it. Do it to him. For cheap. Now you can get frozen. Honestly, I just want to swap back to her and spend two. Really makes me wish I used that on a different thing. Because we are going very fast, very loose. Yep, there that is. This, of course, happens. We get this. You're trembling. Play that for two. Because that's going to draw hers. Okay. Mac the cube. Ouch. We're gonna take a bit, and that's gonna be unfortunate, but we're weathering the storm as much as we can here until we can draw what we need. This can also be very cheap on her. Bit of heal is good. Not good, but we'll live. Wow, there we go. Millilith. Okay. That's that's the kind of stuff we want to start seeing here. Albeit, we want to start seeing it before we're half dead. Okay. I feel like putting this on her and then swapping to her is the smarter choice. Yep, we're using Omnis. Oh boy. You're trembling. Okay, Aquila. Mm-hmm. So here comes the damage. And a lot of it. Over here. Yeah, you take that. I could theoretically just do it again. We're just not getting what we need to, to defend against this very well. And he's got Pyro, which we don't want to swirl because of that. And that. But at the same time, I don't really want her taking another four, and I don't want her taking four. That would be problematic. Especially now that Aquila is there being extremely annoying. She's got this on, so it really is just Cube that's going to take that. <sighs> the insolent shall be punished. Camp first. Life. Ouch. I mean, the thing ain't doing three. We did draw this, which is not helping us much. So let's wait it out. I could easily just swap back to Mona and then quick swap back over here, so. Oh, I'm gonna go back to him. Sure, I'll kill him. A bit of a heal is gonna be good. Nice. Do we want to hit him with something like I haven't lost yet? Maybe. Oh, great. That's not Hydro. Love it. Y you got... You really do just have to be... It, it's staggering, honestly. It really is just staggering. The luck and lack thereof. So now we get rid of this. We play this. 
We sack this. And we kill. Mirror images disperse like water. My show mustn't fail. Again, staggering. You're not useful anymore. I haven't lost yet. That's why I played that, because I expected I haven't lost yet. Shadows of fate. Thank you for this. Thankfully, we got another one of these. Because we're going to need it, that's for sure. They can, of course, quick swap, which will be a nightmare. And we have to now worry about the insane amount of swirl coming in. Because that's four damage. We're blocking two. And there's all of this mess. You're trembling. Now we're blocking all of it. They might just be going for the burst, which means we have to dodge. And that's a problem. Actually, getting Hydra on anyone's a problem. Okay, that's not going to work, Chief. So now, now it's dice wasting, and I'm happy with that. They end first. Could always just fly over. If we do this, great. I guess we do that and then play this. Uh, we might also want the cards. Yeah, go for the heals. That's going to be better. Now it's a matter of, do we get rid of one of these? Because we only have... I feel like we do, just so we can draw stuff at this point. We could have just saved the die for Vonorana as well, but I think the card draw is more important here. Okay. Not doing anything. We get this. There we go. So we don't take anything, but they can just swap around like crazy. We're healed to eight at least. Cube is going to take a beating. We get a, We finally do get the second one of this, but... We had to sack that already. Vonorana is just too high a value to give up like that. Uh, if we can get back over there, we can really force the swap price. Or, hear me out, cube, and we just start cubing through it. That ain't going to get us to cube, is it? It's 10 to 9 here, too. Fast action there, as expected. There's that. Ouch. Okay. Mm -hmm. For the second time, this ram deals plus two damage. And forces your opponent to switch to their previous character, which would be you. Um, great. Plus two damage is going to, of course, do six. Now we can make it do five. If they swap the previous character, we get to put the freeze down. We've got a lot of cryo here. I really wish I had more electro. Time to tank damage, buddy. This is what you're here for. Zip on up. There you go. Damage successfully tanked, and now we are back here. The pale flame smolders. Yay, they get the heal one. Unfortunate. Will they try to burst again? Because that's send off right there. They will try to burst. Awesome. Send off. Ouch. That's still a crap ton of damage, though. Yeah, I'm getting you right out of there. Thank you. None of that crap. Um, hmm. We could drop double Vonorana if we wanted to, and then just wait. Yeah. Double Vonorana and wait. They have Fatui Resonance, 
I'm surprised they haven't played it. We have Fatui Resonance too. I guess both are hiding. You heal the four, which is good. This guy's gonna take a bit of a beating. Wow, that's not Fatui Resonance, but thanks. Or maybe I used both of them already and I'm just forgetting. I mean, it is round six. You're gonna be helpful, because Lord knows we're gonna need the heals. Okay. Well, that's nice. So we are going to outramp them like crazy. You know, how much damage she does this crap again is gonna happen. We can heal past that and do with this. So, my meme friend, here you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm fine with that. That's nice. So you get five shown and you do four right there, so. I'm happy to start tanking the damage. Meme friend does just what meme friend needs to do. Of course, maybe we did just want him to die. That way we could have froze her out. Uh, that would have been nice. Because now this thing's going to do six. So I don't know if we necessarily wanted that. We can have it do four. It puts us at five, which sucks. And then they're just going to burst again, which sucks. It's not like they have... I mean, they still have an arcane card, so that's, you know, something to consider. Normal attack. And so they're just saving this to do the, the damage here. You're trembling. The pale flame Drop that down. Okay. No, he could burst or they could skill. Skill is what I'm more concerned with. Or they can leave it, I guess. You know, that's a thing, too. They're really looking for something there. If we burst... Not worth it. They could kill. So, here we go. A meme card coming to the rescue. Takes you to five, takes you to... Wow, I could have potentially just done some serious damage there. Yeah. There's our Fatui Resonance, our other one. We have another send-off. There we go, so... Now let's get down to business here, because we are gonna... We're gonna start doing some funny business. Um... Get rid of these. Save that for Fatui Res. Wow, that sucks. Thanks. Thankfully, these are Omni. Uh, yeah, I'm really amazed. And as long as... Yeah, as long as, um... Dear God, that was amazing. Peace. Yeah, that was gonna just do it right there, and I should have just done. It. I was calculating how we'd kill the Mona, but yep, there we go. This deck is difficult to evaluate on a competitive level. On one hand, the cards are still very new, so the dust is yet to settle on what is or isn't effective. On the other hand, while the foundations for a taxation deck style exist now, it is still lacking a lot of the infrastructure one would expect to fully maximize the potential playstyle. Furthermore, the difficulty of playing the deck also means that it isn't necessarily for everyone, and some players will be able to get more out of it than others. The deck's worst matchups tend to be against other stall decks that don't necessarily need to move around much, like Diona or Bennett Stall. And this is due to the fact that the early damage output of the deck can be lacking until Senora switches to Pyro. However, this deck does quite well against decks that require consistent elemental reactions, swapping, and varied attacks or event cards to be effective. Its ability to tax and deplete resources from ramp decks or stall out aggressive decks allows it to frustrate a wide variety of opponents. 
Keep in mind though that this deck requires considerable practice to fully utilize. Those who stick with it will find it can be quite rewarding and even overcome its bad matchups. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the deck or the video, feel free to leave a comment below, and feel free to click on the video here for more TCG content.